Hello everybody, our guests today are Severn and Wonks and Twitch. They are apparently very nervous about being here, judging by the... That's, that's yeah. just me. <laughs> no, no, that's just Wonks. That's just Wonks. So, so in, in, our, in our new format, or you know, not our new format, but our new style where we're going to talk a lot more about content creation than just photography, uh, one of the first things we want to do is get some people in who put themselves out on the line pretty much every night. Every night. Because you guys do it live. Yeah. Yeah. So, is this recording we're doing? This is, this is recording. This is, is a little different, isn't it? It's a little different. We can stop and, and change things. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> I'm not changing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the real reason I want to get you guys in here is to talk a little bit about what you guys are doing on Twitch and a little bit about how you got started. And actually, the very first question should be, uh, what is Twitch for people out there that don't really know what Twitch is? Uh, well, Twitch is basically... Uh, a, a video service website, if you want to call it that. It's sort of like YouTube, where YouTube you know, has videos, but where on YouTube, it's all recorded. Strange recording thing. Uh, Twitch is all live. It's all live streaming. Uh, it started all as video game streaming. Um, so video game casters will play, and they'll play video games and talk about it and usually review it or just screw around and just have fun. And then people uh, can interact and have live chat. Uh, since then, it's actually branched into a lot of other things. Uh, pretty much anything creative, uh, so music, making music, playing music, making photography, game development, etc., etc., etc. You can all you can just pretty much go on there, just look up what you're looking for, and find people who are just doing it live, and you can sit there and chat with them and have a good time. Yeah, I, I went and I streamed Lightroom once while I was doing something for it's, no reason. It's my favorite <laughs> RPG. I like to go in there and pretend that I know what I'm doing. Well, I, I, I did. I was I was playing a game, and then I like, oh, I have to do some work. Hmm. Lightroom, <laughs> and then just switched over. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you guys get to watch me do this now. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan's gotten on Twitch. I'm on. I've gotten on Twitch recently, thanks to you guys, kind of inspiring me to jump on there. So much fun! It is. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it is fun. It, the interaction is interesting. That was. Yeah. You have definitely interesting. Uh, an array of interesting characters will definitely join your chat and try to have a conversation with you. And sometimes it's awesome, and other times you're just like. Okay, no, go ahead. You're gone, man. Please go away. <laughs> Please, you can't click fast enough. You're just like, oh god. <laughs> so, so why'd you guys pick Twitch as opposed to just like recording videos of playing and posting them on YouTube? We should do a backstory here. <laughs> so, what we really needed was to spend more time together doing stuff that we both liked. So, Severin's like, how funny would it be if we started streaming video games and you could learn to play video games as we're streaming? And this was like just five months ago that we started doing this. So we were kind of looking around different options. We gave it a go a couple times with like, we did like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back in time, Mario Kart, like just a whole bunch of old school like NES and SNES games. Just, kind of, just kind of feeling it out with, with, with what we had to start with. Like those are the games we, we could the only do. The only games we could play based on the equipment that we had. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Which was just a laptop. And yeah, it was just a laptop. <laughs> with like a webcam on it, and we just sat there and streamed stuff. I was like, okay, we can we can emulate. We have the the the, the Super Nintendo and stuff, but uh, we could just emulate it because we don't have a capture card. We don't have this, that or the other thing. So <laughs> yep. I was just like, okay, well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, and we and we did look around at different things. Like we checked out. Uh, we were looking at Hitbox. We were looking at just doing the YouTube with making them, but that was That's such a time our... process. We want to do it. It's just that was our first real foray was we were i i introduced uh wonks to unturned and uh and we had a had a good time because let's just say she was not used to first person games on a pc i kind of introduced her and tried to teach her and so we kind of clipped together a youtube video and and it the people on the unturned reddit loved it all right uh on the unturned reddit loved it just because it was it was essentially three minutes of Wonk screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was, it was a lot of fun. And so we were like, wow, this was so much fun to do. And so we should keep doing things like that. And that eventually led to us playing on Twitch. All right. So obviously you guys don't just stream one game. I've seen a lot of Twitch people, a lot of Twitch players, you go and you see they just stream one game. Like they just stream Diablo or they just stream Eve or, or whatever else. But you guys don't do that. We, well, we never started with one game. And so that's why I think we never went down that road. I know that that is a, it's a major way that a lot of people get going on Twitch. They have this one game. So there's, there's a lot of different 
essentially casts, if you will, uh, where, you know, you can go and you see somebody who plays this one game so much. And I love a lot of these, like a lot of the Minecraft streamers. They just, they, all they ever do is that, but they are so good at it because they've spent thousands of hours playing this game that they're just like, they can build these amazing things and just know how all this stuff, all the redstone and everything and all these circuitry and everything. And you just watch them for 15 minutes and you can't help but learn stuff. Yeah. And that's brilliant. Like then you're, you're watching experts do this thing. Uh, and then you also have the, 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 the streamers who are variety streamers. And that's how we classify ourselves as variety streamers. We're going to play games as they come out. Games that we like, games that we're interested in, uh, you know, games we're going to kind of... people want us to play also. Like, if people are like, you guys should really play this game, and they're like, all right, we'll give it a go, you know. Right. Yeah. And then we can, we can kind of keep it constantly moving. So you, you pick up, you go, you play a new game, you find a couple of new viewers who are all interested and enjoy, you know, oh, wow, this is really cool. They would have never found us if we were only ever playing one game. Um, that being said, we do, I, for example, play a lot of Minecraft. I have a dedicated time where this is where I play Minecraft. And then other times we'll do variety things because I actually, I thoroughly enjoy playing Minecraft regardless of streaming it or not. Yep. Yeah, I right. tend to get bored really easily with games sometimes. Um, so I like that we variety stream. Like if we play one game for way too long, then I'm like, I don't, I don't want to play. I'm not good at this game or I'm just like, I get, I get frazzled. So I'm just like, we need, we need to do different stuff. <laughs> I, I have to do different games. I can't just play just one game. Unless I become obsessed with it, and then I play it forever. Like Darkest Dungeon. Like Darkest Dungeon, which I am <laughs> currently obsessed with. <laughs> but I like, I like that we're a variety stream. I think that, yeah, there's a lot of people who have a lot of success playing just one game. Um, and I know that a lot of variety streamers don't have a lot of success. But I feel like we've been doing pretty good with it. I think that being a co-stream helps. Tell me about your recording schedule, because you guys do different times, different things. You mentioned that there's a specific Minecraft time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically, um, we, we've gone through several iterations of what time we stream. Because when we first started streaming, it did not take long before we would burn out. We would be like, okay, uh, okay, I, I got to take tonight. It was actually really nice having a co-stream. Because yep. it was like, I got to take the night off. I can't do it tonight. I just need to take a break and go play a video game not in front of people or whatever. Um, but it, was, it wasn't long before we actually we found that we couldn't get enough. We just wanted more. We wanted more. How can we fit in more? more time. Um, so I've actually started waking up at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> to do a two hour long Minecraft stream every morning that way, because we wanted to tr test out new time zone and, and it's been amazing because at five o'clock in the morning is as everybody's kind of waking up in the United States. So a lot of you know, teenagers and you know, like young adults and such are, are waking up and they're waking up and they're just kind of turning on Twitch and they're just kind of watching it while they eat breakfast and things like that. And so I started calling it Severance Breakfast Cereal spelled out like a cereal, like a series. Yep. Um, and the, uh, and that's, that's been a blast because you get to everybody as they're waking up. It's also right around lunchtime in Europe and it's evening prime time for Australia. So All it's right. like this amazing, ma amazing kind of time zone where, okay, at the first it's like, okay, I, gotta, I, gotta, I go and I hit start streaming and I got about a 10 minute counter just to let everybody know, hey, we're starting. And then it's like, okay, let me go brush my teeth, like drink a glass of water or something. And then it's just like, all right, I'm going to put on the music. I'm going to jump around for a minute, <laughs> get some blood flowing, and then I'm in. I'm going. Uh, and that's, that's been a blast. That's probably my favorite time zone now to actually play, regardless of the fact that it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, but then Wonks also streams during the day. Yep, I do weekdays with Wonks, um, which is I get like a two-hour slot when both the kids are at school. I just generally am like, all right, usually I straw poll what game I'm playing for the week, um, and then I just try to do one game for the week, or it's just a specific game. But um, I do that three days a week, uh, which I love doing. I'm going to miss it in the summertime. <laughs> um, and then we have our evening stream, which we usually try to start around 8. Well, Severn usually tries to start around 8. I finish up the kid bedtime and stuff, and then... Depending on the night, we usually start around 8. Sometimes a little earlier, if we can sneak in a little earlier. Um, because, like you said, we just kind of become obsessed with jumping on and playing video games and being yeah. obnoxious. Yeah. It's been the best thing ever for the marriage. It's awesome. Right. It's actually, it's been great for us. I mean, I think I had a little bit of worry when we first started. Because yep. it's going to be like, oh man, we're going to have creative differences. We're, there's gonna, it's going to lead to infighting. And then years from now, we'll have like a... You know, uh, you know, a, a reunion tour or something. And then we'll, like, oh, you know, but actually, it's been a lot of fun because it's just basically been like, 
hey, uh, you want to go play video games together? Yeah. Because we found, like, before we ever started streaming or before we ended up doing anything like that, is we'd play games together, but the only communication we would have would be, would be, uh, go up there. No, yeah, you missed that. We gotta go back. No, no, no. You, no, you just, just jump. Just, you know what I mean? And, like, that was, like, literally the, the entirety of the communications. Now, when we started streaming, we have to keep talking. We want to talk about this and that. We're talking about what we're doing. We want to talk to each other. We're finding out opinions from each other and everything like Staying that. Staying interactive with the chat and... Mm. Um, yeah, it's just been, it's been really awesome. And then a lot of the times, like, I'm a board gamer, generally. Like, that's my genre of board games. And he's always been the console or PC gaming. So we would also, like, only ever be off doing separate things. Like, we would maybe spend one night a week together. Well, doing the same thing. Doing the same thing. A lot of times we would be together, like, in the same but room, but just doing things. separate things. So, Having something that we are doing together at the same time has been awesome um, because it's really let us kind of reintroduce ourselves to our personalities that we've kind of forgotten we had, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's, we've, we've had a lot more like one-on-one -on -one time, which has been awesome. And then that well, makes us more goofy and silly throughout the day because we're so used to being goofy and silly at night that it's just kind of floods over and everything, which is awesome. It's so. taken a lot of the seriousness out of our life. We'll it has, <laughs> which has been great. There's no need for it. We can just goof off and be smart asses all the time. <laughs> oh, that's great. You guys really are goofy and silly on stream. It's, 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 I, I that's don't, how we are all the time. Well, yeah, you are like that all the time. Because <laughs> so I've played board games with great. you. It's yeah. always like that. So it's, it's fantastic to get into this comfort zone of just being like, whatever. <laughs> We're doing it live, just whatever. So. <laughs> so, so what prompted the road to a billion followers? The road to a billion followers is it, a joke. I mean, <laughs> obviously. I mean, well, no, no, no. It's it's no totally legit. We'll totally get it, guys. Someday, <laughs> believe hashtag believe. Uh, the <laughs> road to a billion followers yeah, if, if give away every ten million. Right, and so basically, a lot of a lot of streamers will say. Every time they're looking for a major milestone, so like, okay, I'm going to have 500 followers, or you need 1,000 followers, you, you know, 10,000 followers, or what have you, whatever level you happen to be at, 25. <laughs> I would be happy when I was 25. <laughs> <laughs> They'll do road to whatever, yep. whatever that is, whatever their current goal is. They, they, and it's always called the road to that. And so I just thought it would be funny just to do road to a billion followers, because obviously there's not even a billion users on <laughs> Twitch. It's, we're talking about, you know, seventh of the world's population it's a little ridiculous and people will be like you know well, why isn't a road to a trillion followers and it's like hey look we're trying to be realistic here <laughs> let's not just you know whatever so and then we jokingly say that it is a giveaway every 10 million because people read that and they're just what are these people on about and they want to come find out it's unbelievable how many people just come in and laugh and be like don't you think a billion is a little much no, <laughs> I don't think that at all. It's totally legit. We're gonna get it. <laughs> Hashtag believe, people. Hashtag believe. <laughs> with our, with all of our regulars just being like, no man, no. It's it's real. Hashtag believe. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's actually become kind of funny because it did. It, obviously, it started as a joke, and a lot of our our regular viewers have started taking it on as a as a bigger meaning, like. You know, hashtag road to a billion. They'll just kind of say it every time anybody follows. You know, we're yep. like, oh, we're one step closer, guys. <laughs> and then it's kind of taken on a life of its own in that people really like kind of think of it as it's, it's important to have goals that are so ridiculous that it almost, it's just like, it doesn't matter what you achieve because you're just saying, well, I'm on that, that road to, yeah. I'm climbing yeah. Mount Everest. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay. Like you, you, breathe heavy when you walk down the street, but we're going up Mount Everest, yeah. you know? <laughs> so. <laughs> you guys are getting followers pretty quickly at this point, from what I can see, at least from what I've been watching. Last week's been awesome. I think that yeah. changed time, adding the morning the breakfast the cereal mm. thing that I still can't say, right? <laughs> Severance breakfast cereal. Adding that was a big boost. Um, also, I think another big boost has been, uh, we've been doing fundraising uh, for our friends, Severin's best friend's wife, she's running the Boston Marathon, so we've been pushing fundraising to help her get to her goal to do the marathon, too. I think that has helped a lot, and also just, we've just been streaming, like, ridiculously crazy. Like, we're, usually we're pushing we don't, 40 hours a week now. Usually we don't <laughs> stream on weekends, and we're just like, we can stream. <laughs> we're like, okay, let's 
Like, are we going to be playing video games anyways? Why, why aren't we just playing on stream then? Like, we might as well. And that's, yeah. we, we've had our biggest jump actually this past week. Yeah, these past, past couple of weeks have been amazing just because we've put in a lot, like I said, a lot more hours than usual testing out different time zones. And that, what I was saying about that 5 a.m. Uh, you know, time frame is that because it's such an inter it's more an international, there's not a lot of English speaking streamers. All right. So a, a lot of times, well, a big, a big thing for people to do is raid other channels. Yep. So, so I've time. gotten more raids during that morning time zone because people are looking, okay, they're ending, say West Coast streamers, they're ending their late night stream looking for someone and it's, you know, two o'clock in the morning for them, five o'clock in the morning for me, I'm just waking up, they're just going to sleep. And they're like, we're looking for someone to pass off all of my viewers to and just, you know, have fun and just raid. And they go and spam in your chat and everything like that. And, Raids are the best. I love And them. it's a lot of fun. And so I've gotten more during that time frame than any other time frame just because of I, I'm an English streamer who's high energy and, you know, doing stupid the movie guy voice and things like that. Yeah. Everybody, so it's, everybody's just like, oh, say it like the movie voice. guy. Wonks can't stand it. I so I'll just be like, so in a world where Wonks can't stand it. <laughs> How did you handle watching him play Hotline Miami? Because <laughs> he was giving everybody different voices yes. for that. Yeah, well, we look, that's another huge thing. We voice act everything. Yeah, you, you guys really do. It's, it's, it's really so fun. much fun. It's so much fun. It's like the best thing ever. Yes. I don't know how everybody doesn't do it. I'm like, why don't, why don't you do this always? This is the best thing. And we actually have gotten a lot of followers because our first big thing was Betrayal at Crondor. And I had like a Homestar voice. And we actually have one follower who's like, I only follow for the Homestar voice. <laughs> <laughs> so I always have to bust it out. Random. Actually, I know, random side note. Uh, my birthday, I'm doing the Homestar game. <laughs> we're so doing it we're voice acting it you want, you want to tell everybody what, what, when, when you're going to be doing the Homestar game oh that's going to be uh, Thursday the 26th of March the day before my birthday All doing right. the Homestar <laughs> Runner game it's going to be awesome awesome sorry awesome. I got excited I'm, no, I'm plug yourself random. plug yourself it's, it's, the, it's, it's not Homestar's game it's, it's Strong Bad's game. Game. <laughs> it's game it's a Strong Bad's game there's five episodes I'm so excited oh, we're going to marathon it yeah <laughs> that's another th great thing about the community it builds a community of it basically really friends that you'll never meet like in real life well you might well, never meet them you'll meet them potentially if you go to conventions and things like that yeah. but it's basically just like oh hey I you know I feel like I like this game too I like this game and then all of a sudden you start getting all these steam friends and everything and you've got them through streaming and now you if you don't want to play a game alone you pretty much never have to play a game alone sometimes it's really annoying when you do want to play a game alone yeah. though, and you're just like okay offline <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the community on Twitch is amazing. Like, everybody's helpful. Everybody is friendly. Like, not counting, like, the stupid, like, little percent of, like, troll oops, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but you, everyone, everyone is excited, and everyone is wanting to help everyone out, and it's fantastic. It's been so much fun. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, no, this is one of those things I'm, I'm looking forward to and getting into Twitch a little more. When I have time, I mean, when I'm... Editing, it kind of eats into my Twitch time. Yeah. So, yeah. What little experience I have with it is the same thing. A couple of people have are all very friendly and very yeah. like, involved and talk. And yeah. It's, it's an interesting, it, the way it spreads out, because you have specific viewers who are on there looking for the small streams. Because the nice thing about the small streams is that you can interact. If you say something in chat, you know for a fact that the person's going to read it. <laughs> yeah. As a, if you, once you start, and I actually, my, the ones that I really love to watch are the people who have a couple hundred viewers. Those are my favorite because they're they're popular and they're popular for a reason, and and the chat is going, it's flowing at a nice rate, but it's not just whizzing by like oh okay. several thousand viewers and uh, and you know the chat is just whizzing by and you can't there's no way you'll say hey how's it going you know you could be in there all the time the person could actually know you and enjoy chatting with you there there's maybe a five percent chance they'll actually end up being able to see it just because it's by the time they look. They look away, they look back, yeah. it's gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, uh, so there's a lot of people, it's, it's, it's a very interesting because a lot of very friendly and a lot of trolls like the small, like the small streams and then you build a viewer base off of that and then more people, because it's all sorted by viewers. So it's all about how many viewers you have at that moment, the more likelihood that other people are going to see you because it does, it, you know, the people with the highest views are at the top of the list and the people with per game, no views are at the bottom. Per game, most viewers. Oh. Next game, this game has this many viewers, this person has this many, this person has this many, and it goes down. So 
depending also on the games that you're choosing to play, like we do a lot of obscure games sometimes. Mm. So for a while, we're like, we're not really getting viewers. Like we think we're pretty entertaining, but it's just because we do a lot of indie games and a lot of games that people right. are looking for, you know? So it's, it's important to also kind of have a balanced mix between games that people are going to be looking for, but then still sticking with the games that we like. So. So what's in the future for you guys? I mean, a got, billion followers. Well, well a billion <laughs> followers, obviously. <laughs> uh, well, we want to branch out. We want to do, we would love to do uh, like a and d stream. We would love to integrate in board gaming um, streams. Uh, it's all figuring out setup and exactly how to do that. Yeah, I can um, imagine that's tricky. Yeah, that, that's, that's, like a, we've, we've that's got a pain a lot in the butt. Of, <laughs> we have a lot of different kind of things that we'd like to try out um, and such. It's just we've been mainly just kind of stabilizing, getting our equipment upgraded, and but yeah. we've, we've got lots of plans. We we want to we want to do we had our um, our creativity is bigger than our budget. How's yep. that? Well, um, I, I understand that fully. I, mean, I think that's on our T-shirt. <laughs> I, I, I think that might be on our T-shirt when I finally get them. Get them I heard in. we're getting T-shirts. You guys are getting T-shirts so as soon as they come in. <laughs> nice. So, but um, <laughs> as soon as you have the budget. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> the um, we have a lot of things that we really want to do. Um, it's tough, you know, working full time and then try and then coming back and then being like, I want to stream. I don't want to spend a half an hour trying to set up this new. You know, uh, you know, a new scene in, in OBS, which is the broadcasting yeah. software that we use. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend another half an hour actually moving this stuff around, actually getting that to work. Now let's get a new overlay. It's just like, no, I just want to stream. Just hit the button and go. <laughs> you know, so it's tough uh, with that. I would like to think, like I said, the dreams being bigger than the budget is like to go full time would be amazing. That we are nowhere near that. <laughs> I'm nowhere near that. But you, to go but full you, time would I be... I get to be closer to that when both kids are in school next year. <laughs> <laughs> but, if I wake up in time. But if you're doing 40 hours a week, you're almost doing it full time anyway. Like right, but that's the thing. Job. There's no time for that setting up and yeah. like kind of trying to branch out and do different things and everything like that because it's basically just like, you know, you're just, you're just trying to go, 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 go. And then, oh, now I got to go to bed because if I don't go to bed, I'll be falling asleep at work tomorrow. Yeah. We wanted to also do more with like the YouTube and stuff. Like I was but doing like ridiculous. a weekly stream that we were going to cut into like a little thing like Wonks reviews this game and it was just going to be obnoxious because I'm like, I, it's not really going to be a review. I'm just going to be flipping out the game because <laughs> I can't figure the freaking thing out. And yeah, then, you don't like to read tutorials, I've learned. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I don't like to do tutorials. I'm just like, I'm like, can I beat this game by button mashing? No. Can I just, can I just, can we just, no? Why, why? What's going on? <laughs> it was funny because I was playing Darkest Dungeon uh, online this week because I watched her play and I was like, this game's awesome. I'm going to go buy this. <laughs> And I was playing, and she's like, how come your characters aren't dying as much as mine? I'm like, well, I upgraded the guild hall, and I gave them better skills. She's like, you can upgrade the guild hall? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, why doesn't this door work? And he's like, you can hit W to walk in the doors. And I was like, you can't? Oh, my God, they're going in the doors, guys. This is great. It's like the best thing ever. I'm just, I'm so bad at reading things to figure them out. I'm more of a someone show me and let's do it together <laughs> learner. Um, it creates such a... It's humorous <laughs> atmosphere, though. Because then I just look like I'm just terrible at it. It's like, no, it's not really that. I just... Then someone in chat will be like, you know, you can just do this. And she'll be like... <laughs> okay. We're just going to ignore it. Right. Ignore the last two hours of streaming. <laughs> it didn't, it didn't <laughs> Starting over. It didn't happen. Don't tell anyone. But lots of people were coming in this week being like, wow, you, you've gotten a lot better at this game. I was like, I know, right? It's great. <laughs> so it's been, it's been a lot. It's fun. I just, I know, I get really ADD <laughs> at video games, which is weird because I'm so OCD and like on task and like micromanage everything else. Oh, the ADD makes In makes all the rest fun. of my life. And then I go to play games and I'm like, huh, what? What but, oh, we're playing? Oh, and then it's just, I'm like, where is this coming from? And then people, I'm just like this, which is probably better because then I'm not. Like, I don't <laughs> Boring. Know. Boring, yes. yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I like to think that my, mind, what my makes my Minecraft streams interesting is because I'm, I'm I'm pretty good. I like to think that I'm pretty decent at making builds and stuff like that when I can remember what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, oh, I need to do this and that and this and that and this and that, and then I will get distracted before I even start the first 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I made this sweet sword that took me 20 minutes. Oh, I was doing something well, else, was, wasn't I? Oh man, I didn't even need a sword. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you how many things I have from Tinker's Construct. I'm like, oh, I wonder if this works. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> but I have like a whole toolbar just full of back pickaxes. <laughs> See, like, we play too many mod packs, so there's too many things to do at the same time. Right. It's like I'm doing this thing and then that thing over there, and I found this thing that does that with that thing, and then yeah. oh, though, it's night. Sweet. <laughs> I, just my, I just set up my first Ender Quarry. And I, I think most of the week was just me being like staring at my AE system going, look at those huge numbers. I've got 17,000 iron bars now. <laughs> so, yes. It makes it interesting having ADD and playing <laughs> games that complex. <laughs> Absolutely. So, for anyone who's interested in getting started and doing their own content creation on Twitch, uh, besides following your channel, I'm sure that would be the first piece of advice. Yes, definitely. And Absolutely. watching lots of it. Uh, what, what advice <laughs> would you give? Tune in every me? time we're streaming. That's guaranteed way. You'll you'll be you're already on your way to one billion followers for us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what what's a good what's a good way for people to start out who are, who are really interested? Someone who's like, oh man, I want to Twitch, but I don't really know what to do. I what would you tell them? My recommendation. What would you tell your community? <laughs> I would tell people to find games that they love and just play them and whatever happens happens mm -hmm. i mean that's kind of how we went into it we were like let's just see if we could find good together time and be entertained and get to play games together and it's just you just start out just you should always be in it to have fun like have a good time play stuff that you love and then people will come in that love it too and then you can geek out as you're playing between the stream and the game and that's my advice i would say <laughs> my advice would be one, don't spend more money just to do this expecting to get the money back, because you won't. Like, the odds of you, if that happening, are so small that you should just wipe it out of your head that it would happen. Yep. Uh, if you have the starting equipment that you would need, which is basically just a nice computer, you want a nice computer. Yep. Um, and uh, to, to get that started, that's really, that's really what you want. If you're gonna do console, obviously you would like to have a capture card. Uh, you're gonna want the equipment, you know, just try to be cheap. Just get, get, the thing is just do it and have the right, like Monks was saying, the right intentions are what's important. If you're doing it because you want, you know, oh, I wanna be a full-time streamer and this and that and the other thing, right when you're starting, I mean, yeah, we want to do that, but we're not like, that's not why we're doing it. You know, that would be nice, but we would keep streaming, you know, every time, regardless. Yep. Um, it's the, also a nice, really awesome way to have to upgrade all your technological <laughs> equipment. You're like, oh, but we're streaming now. Wouldn't it be a good idea to actually upgrade some of this stuff? Yep. Is that thousand dollars really in my budget right now? Mm, we're streaming. But we have to. We <laughs> yes. have to. You, it's, you... it's been, but it's like our hobby that we're just putting into. So it's not like yeah. even if we stop streaming, we're still going to use all the equipment that we're having. Yeah, we're going to still true. game all the time, you know. So it's. Yeah. It, it's the same mentality we have yeah. for doing this podcast. It's. Do, do we need high-end cameras? No, we actually already happen to have them because Ryan and I are both photographers. So we yeah. have, yeah. have cameras that can do this. And, you know, and, and you, we built our own light setups and things because you know, we needed, it was like, okay, we shot the first couple and we went, well, we, do we need new lights? Yes, we need new lights. <laughs> do we need to go buy $3,000 Kino Flows? No, we could build you know, these little light banks that we love. Oh, Just keep right looking at it. them. They're really good. I did I'm the like, same oh, thing. Why, why you I see do the that? lights? That they're really purple. bright. They're fantastic. Yeah, yeah they're, they're so bright. I love this purple spot you've yeah. grown on your face. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we, so, I mean, we look at things and I, and I do the same thing. It's like, am I ever going to make this money back? No. Don't yeah. care. I'm no. doing it to make to do, make what I'm doing better. But so it's, it's worth it's, it. It's, it's the at same mentality. At a point, you're like, well, I'm, I'm going to be using it anyways. Exactly. So why not? Why not upgrade it to be something that's going to be awesome that we're going to use? Like, if we're using it, you know, the purpose that we're using it for matches why we want to do it. So it, it makes sense that we can upgrade as we go now, which is awesome. It's been awesome. And I, I think my one other recommendation is once you've gotten started, is talk a lot. Yeah. A Just lot. describe yes. everything that you're doing, regardless of whether or not anybody's in chat. Because a lot of times people will be like, well, there's... They just sit there quietly. Well, there's nobody in chat. Nobody's chatting. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. That makes it hard just sometimes. Just yeah. talk about what you're doing. Just literally say, I'm walking over here. Even if it's just literally like, I'm walking. Walking simulator 2015. You know what I mean? It's just like, 
just you got to keep going because otherwise people will come in and then just leave because you're just like okay well, I don't want to yeah. watch somebody just sit there and play a game I can sit there and play the game it's not yep. why I'm tuning <laughs> I don't, I'm not tuning in to see the game <laughs> I can watch anybody play the game <laughs> I want to I want someone who is going to be enjoyable to watch so pretty much that and you know Which on is... the on the same vein of talking <laughs> make sure whoever you are being is somewhere grounded in yourself because people will figure out that you're faking whatever it is you're doing yeah. very quickly. <laughs> so if you want to be an enjoyable person, be an enjoyable person in real life first. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is that it, then it flows over into real life. Now I have like no inner monologue and I'll yes. just randomly talk all the time, whether it needs to be said a lot or not. I'm like, oh yeah, well. I'm walking. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, hey guys. Sorry. These graphics are amazing, but the gameplay is yeah. really boring. <laughs> I, I, I no DMV. longer have an inner monologue, which I mean, I don't know. I guess it could be great. I don't. I don't know. I'm just me, and I. I don't just... know. It kind of makes me want to walk around with like a camera and a mic attached to you all the time. <laughs> Wait, well, do the first person real life view. simulator? Yeah, there, there we go. go. Chest, chest GoPros for everyone. Yes, there we go. Should just stream no, yourself I, I, walking around. I want to around. get the, uh, the the rig that sits on your chest, but down, so it's uh, it's like constantly yeah, it's taking like, video selfies yeah. of you as you go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I would just be making way, faces at it way. all the time. It would be so counterproductive. I should be like, man, <laughs> driving is really difficult with this thing. <laughs> I just need to see over this thing, and it's kind of difficult. Can I just shift it? Can I shift it? We're shifting it. Great, this is great. <laughs> All right, one last question, then I'll, let, then I'll be done with you guys. Uh, what's the worst thing either you've done on stream or you've seen someone else do on stream that you just like, please, God, dear God, never, ever do that again? Well, I don't know if we've had something terrible. We've had really funny things that were just kind of like stupid happen. Um, well, but... there, are, there are trends on the internet right now that they are, they're pretty much universally... Um, you don't talk about them. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, there's there's these really, there's trolls. Yeah. There's always trolls, and some of them take it way too far. But it's one of those things you just you don't talk about it. Because if you, you talk about it, then it comes to you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the because it's also almost condoning it. You know, to, to to describe what people will do is a way of saying, you know, oh, see, that's why they did it. They wanted people talking about it. So yep. you just ignore it. Um, the. Uh, I, I think as far as like bad, these a lot of people will do really long streams. They're like, oh, we're doing a 24 hour stream or a 48 hour stream. And you know what I mean? Where it's just, we're going to stream constantly for this amount of time <laughs> and get all hopped up on Red Bulls and just like go nuts. And then the eyes like fall out of their face. And they're just like, ah. Uh, that was like my double chapter Alice night. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> never again. There's it's some, it's some, in some interesting things come out of this. And I remember, I didn't see this live, but I ended up seeing it later where it was, you know, to watch it, you're just like, like, just whoa! You're like you're like half stuck between like just shock and laughter. But a guy, he was playing RuneScape and he got some ultra rare. I don't play RuneScape, so I don't really know. Yep. Some ultra rare item after farming for like like 24 hours straight, he finally got it. He starts jumping up and down, and he ends up fainting because he's just literally like he sits back down. He's like he's like I don't I don't I don't feel good. My my heart's like you know and just like literally just boom, just down on the floor. And like a minute later, finally kind of comes back too, and he's just like still on camera trying to figure. And I'm just like okay, that's humorous, and that is some entertaining live entertainment. I, I would love to have seen what their chat what his chat was like. <laughs> Did he died? <laughs> But at the same time, it's just like, uh, why did you do that to yourself? You know, that's, um, you know, that's basically like you're, you're going to cause some serious. You hear about, you know, people in, you know, Korea who die because they just sat in an internet cafe for 48 hours and didn't eat or anything and then just died. You know, I'm like, the okay, best let's, ever. let's just. Ever fed. <laughs> he does his really long streams. I'm like, would you like some tea? Do you need some scotch? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe some water. I don't know. Water is not important. Red Bull, something. <laughs> But I would say that um, best coaching any people people going people going a little <laughs> overboard is probably that just general general moderation sense. I guess moderation. But generally, I don't think we've done anything too terrible yet. No, I don't think it's all been fun, obnoxious, and great. Yeah, I can't think, yeah, of, I can't anything. think of anything yeah. that we've <laughs> would be like, oh man, I can't believe that happened. Other than, like, the next day if I stayed up too late. That's, like, the only thing. But, I mean, that's always going to happen. That's like drinking. You're like, I'm never going to drink again. I'll never stream two chapters of Alice again. It'll happen with another game sometime. I'll get excited. Life. <laughs> All right. So, 
You guys want to? Uh... Do you want me to do my my thing? Yes. Do your <gasps> do oh your rap. Oh my god! I'm gonna do my thing. All right. We are Severin and Wonks. We stream weekdays, Sunday through Thursday, from 8 p.m. to midnight. We also do weekdays with Wonks, Tuesdays through Thursdays, from 12:30 to 2:30 p.m. And Severin does Severin's breakfast cereal weekday mornings, 7 a.m. 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Oh my god, I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take two. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Wanna... I always mess it up. Do you wanna... yeah. um, so well, we, we stream a lot What's and that? we do weekends. It's yeah. great. Are we oh, going to redo yeah. that? That's, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's another goal after a while. It's an actual non-USB. Like, be a production company. That's a goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most of this exists because I have two companies. Well, one company it has two entities. Yeah. But the, the a lot of the big streamers use external mixers. That's that's that. a big thing. Like even recording us, these are small, which mm -hmm. makes them okay for mics for this kind of stuff. But for streaming, you really want a nice condenser mic. And yeah, I like, yeah, you have you mic, have a nice pop filter, the pop filter stuff. condenser yeah, mic set. Which walks hides behind. She's like pop filter. I, I like to talk with my face right into it. Yeah, she like. I'm just like I just want to nuzzle it. it. <laughs> I just want to nuzzle it as I'm talking to you guys. The beer is as obnoxious as possible. Get that extra food. chewing sound in. Like sitting, <laughs> yeah. Eating some food and they go, and then like something happens, you're like, ah! And, oh, <laughs> God, no. <laughs> At least you're only cleaning the pop filter, not the mic. Yes, true. true. Those, are, those are dime a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> I love my mic. <laughs> I do too, it's pretty cool. I'm getting better at it. Uh, I'm you, getting you better guys, at projecting a, volume. No, you guys have a nice mic setup over there because I got, I got to check it out. I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So... I mean, like, I, when I stream, I, I literally wear my cheap gaming headset. Yeah, I have That's a, what we started Beach. with. That's literally the same thing. That's the first thing yeah. we used. Yeah. Turtle Beach. Getting our I don't even have a Turtle Beach. I have, like, a Logitech. Logitech. Like, like, yeah, yours, is, yours is pretty bad. At least mine's... I think that's kicking around somewhere. It's still around somewhere. The yeah. Logitech. Oh, USB. no, I think we got... I yeah. think we had to get rid of it, didn't we? Oh, no, it's, just, it no, it's around still somewhere. around somewhere. Oh, yeah, it totally is. I mean... I, I think mean, it's out eight I use it just to play games most of the time because... Before I was streaming, it was just like, I just need something on my head to hear everybody in voice chat. Yeah, right. they're comfortable. Or, that's, that's it's comfortable, it's it. light, it sounds fine when you're talking yeah. to people. I was like, it's, it's fine. I started, I started using USB headsets because you could set it up so that you, it was really easy. It, it essentially worked as a second sound card. Yeah. So they use a USB headset and I can set, uh, you know, TeamSpeak to go over that and yep. then game audio to come out of speakers or whatever. So you want to do your rap again? I can't. Do we have to clap again, or are we just doing our <laughs> no, rap? No, it's all right. No, no. We only have to do that when we restart the audio streams. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Um, since the audio stream's still running, it will pick up. It, it, the software is actually good enough to know. It'll match up the waveforms, but it'll know that this is still tied to that one. Oh, cool. Because the, like, the cameras will stop at four gigs and start new files automatically. Mine so. doesn't. Oh, yours doesn't. Yeah, they're different. Yours just doesn't stay, just stays under four gigs, doesn't it? No. No? Oh, God. When I started recording... All of my disk space just disappeared. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. You want to talk about, stream want to talk about disk space? Yeah. It was just like, yeah. Beep, 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 I'm beep, like, beep, I have a pair of four terabyte drives in there that yeah, are mirrored because I don't ever want to lose my, right, right, my stuff. Right. Yeah. And even then, it was like, I had a one, and I bought another one and spanned them, and then bought a two and mirrored the span <laughs> as two. That was like, I just fucked this by two fours and <laughs> transfer everything. So, yeah, let's do the wrapping. All right. All right. Do All right. we wrap up? We are Severin and Monks. We stream Sunday through Thursday, <laughs> 8 p.m. to midnight. We do weekdays with Wonks, Tuesdays to Thursdays from 12.30 to 2.30. Severin does Severin's breakfast cereal weekly, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And we also do random weekend hours. So give us a follow. A come check them. us out. It's a great time, <laughs> I promise. It's twitch.tv slash Severin and Wonks. S-E-V-E-R-N-A-N-D-W-O-N-K-S. Oh, yeah. He's Severin. <laughs> I'm Wonks. <laughs> Thanks for letting us come play. You're yes. welcome, and, awesome. and I'll put fun. links to all your stuff down underneath your Twitter, your your Facebook, Facebook, your yeah. Twitch, your. Our little you guys have YouTube. a YouTube. Uh, we do have a little yeah. YouTube. It's that was little. what we were talking about before, like yeah. YouTube. It's like we're recording everything so we can go through and edit it and go on YouTube, and then we're just like, someday. That took two hours <laughs> to do that half an hour long and, clip. <laughs> and I don't know how to do it, so that's why I'm yeah. like, I could do it, but I'm like, but I don't know how. Yeah, if you don't love editing, it's no. it, it's painful. I, I love editing, so... I don't, so this works out perfectly. I'm going to start shipping everything to you. I'm just going to be like, here you go. <laughs> expect some bills. <laughs> 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 Podcast Productions loves making money that way. 